There is a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to goldenrods and butterfly gardening. Many people believe that goldenrods are too aggressive or weedy to be put into a small space such as a butterfly garden. And while that is true for many of the 100 plus species that are native to North America, there are plenty of them that will behave just fine in a smaller space. I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology and today I'm gonna to tell you about some goldenrod species that'll make your butterfly garden a must stop for any fall migrating butterflies and other pollinators. Speaking of pollinators, if you're finding the information in this guide useful, be sure to please pollinate that like button. To start off, I'm gonna cover the goldenrods that love the sun, like most goldenrod species do. Many of the goldenrods are also adapted to a wide range of soils from sandy to clay and from medium moisture to very dry. If there are some species in this list that don't follow that basic pattern, I will discuss that under their individual species descriptions. Early goldenrod, Solidago juncei, is the earliest blooming goldenrod in this guide. Early goldenrod is known for large, showy clusters of yellow flowers that appear from June to August. It has a wide range in the eastern United States. Distinguishing characteristics of this goldenrod are its nearly hairless leaves and stems. Although this is a taller species of goldenrod, maturing at three to six feet in height, it has a slow clump forming growth habit. This allows it to be used as an accent plant in smaller gardens. Gray goldenrod, Solidago nemoralis, is a very interesting species. Gray goldenrod has awesome wand-shaped clusters of bright yellow flowers. Other features of gray goldenrod are the secondary leaflets along the stem and the short fine hairs along the stem and leaves, giving it a gray appearance in the plant its common name. This species can be found over much of eastern North America. This is another early blooming goldenrod and flowers can be expected from June to October. Gray goldenrod is a shorter species, between one to three feet in height, with a slow clump forming growth habit. It loves poor, rocky soils and will often grow in places nothing else will. A great choice for a xeric or rock garden. Blooming a little later in this season is showy goldenrod, Solidago speciosa. The flowering stems of showy goldenrod are distinctive in that they are erect or curve upward. Flowers are a pleasing shade of yellow and as the name suggests, showy. Other distinguishing features are hairless leaves and stems, secondary leaflets in the upper leaf axils, and toothless leaves. Blooms can be expected July to September for this wide ranging species. A smaller species that will grow one to four feet in height and spread in a slow clump forming fashion. Anise scented goldenrod, Solidago odora, is a goldenrod species that smells as good as it looks. The light yellow flowers of anise scented goldenrod form only on the upper side of the flower stems, which then droop gracefully downward. Blooming starts in July and lasts through October. This is another wide ranging species, although it is absent from the upper Midwest. It is mid-sized, growing from two to four feet tall, and will spread in a slow clumping habit. Although adapted to a wide variety of soils, it seems to prefer soils with some sand in them. It can also take a little more shade than most goldenrods, but still needs some sun. The coolest thing about anise scented goldenrod is that the crushed leaves and flowers smell like licorice and can be used to make herbal tea. If you would like your very own Two Bees or Not Two Bees t-shirt, there is a link in the description. How about a goldenrod that doesn't have yellow flowers? Silverrod, Solidago bicolor, is a white flowered goldenrod that produces large upright spikes of flowers from August to September. Its range is mainly east of the Mississippi River. A smaller species that will attain a mature height of one to three feet and spreads in a very slow manner. Silverrod is adapted to a wide range of soils but seems to prefer drier, poorer soils. If you are looking for something different for your butterfly garden, give Silverrod a look. Do you like the look of silverrod, but you have your heart set on yellow flowers? Then hairy goldenrod, Solidago hispida, is what you want. Hairy goldenrod looks almost exactly like silverrod, except it has yellow flowers. The stems and upper leaf surfaces are covered with dense hairs, which gives the plant its common name. Another characteristic of hairy goldenrod is most of the leaves are at the base of the plant. Bloom time is from August to October. Hairy goldenrod has a slightly larger range than silverrod, although it has the same one to three foot tall height and slow spreading growth habit. It also prefers poor, dry, rocky soils. Seaside goldenrod, Solidago sempervirens, is by far the strangest goldenrod in this guide. 
Like most goldenrods, seaside goldenrod has clusters of bright yellow flowers. But that is where the similarity stops. Seaside goldenrod is a plant adapted to poor, sandy, and salty soils along the coast. To help it deal with this environment, it has thick, fleshy leaves up to a foot long that are more reminiscent of a succulent than a goldenrod. As can be guessed, the species ranges along the Gulf and Eastern Coast and around the Great Lakes. Bloom time is August through October. While it can grow to six feet tall in decent soil, it is more often around three feet tall in the poor soils it prefers. When planted in too rich a soil, seaside goldenrod grows really fast, gets spindly, and will fall over. So please be aware of this when choosing a planting location for it. A slow spreading clump former. Due to its high salt tolerance, seaside goldenrod makes a great plant for roadside plantings. What if you have a shady area and you really want to put a butterfly garden there and you have your heart set on goldenrod? Well, you're in luck. There are a couple species you can choose from. Zigzag goldenrod, Solidago flexicollis, is a very shade tolerant goldenrod that is often found growing in open woods. Rather than just having terminal clusters of flowers, zigzag goldenrod also has flowers along the stem and the leaf axles. The stem tends to zigzag between leaves and is where the common name derives from. The leaves are also broad and deeply toothed, unlike most goldenrods. Blooms are present from August to September. Plants grow from one to three feet in height, but often arc over as they flower. A widespread species in the eastern U.S., a great addition to a shaded butterfly garden where it'll spread slowly as a clump. Blue stem goldenrod, Solidago casea, is another woodland species that is shade tolerant and is found widely in the eastern United States. Similar in appearance to zigzag goldenrod, blue stem can be distinguished by its narrow, smaller tooth leaves and a stem that has a bluish waxiness to it. Blue stem is another species that has flowers mainly in the leaf axils, which appear from August to October. This is a smaller goldenrod and only reaches a height of one to three feet and will often arch over as it flowers. It slowly spreads by forming small clumps. Do you have an area where the soil stays moist, such as a rain garden, riparian zone, or pond bank? Good news, there are goldenrod species adapted to those sites also. Swamp goldenrod, Solidago patula, is an aptly named wetland species of goldenrod. Swamp goldenrod is known for having a wild, any which way flowering form. Think of it this way, if Albert Einstein had goldenrod flowers for hair, it would be swamp goldenrod. Other characteristics that set swamp goldenrod apart from other goldenrods are its large lower leaves that can be up to 12 inches long by four inches wide and its angular, sometimes winged stems. Blooming occurs from July through September. This is a goldenrod that can get big and is usually from two to six feet in height. A slow spreading addition to a moist soil pollinator garden found throughout much of the Eastern US. Ohio goldenrod, Solidago ohioensis, is the most range restricted goldenrod in this guide and is only found in the Great Lakes states. It has flat topped compact flower clusters that bloom from August to September. It also has long narrow leaves up to 10 inches long. A mid-sized goldenrod that usually reaches three to four feet in height and spreads slowly by forming clumps. An excellent moist soil goldenrod choice if you live within its native range. Wrinkle leaf goldenrod, Solidago rugosa, is a very unusual species that is known for profuse flowering and can produce up to 50 flowering stems per plant. The leaves are puckered and wrinkled and lack the three parallel veins most of the tall goldenrods have. The stems are also quite hairy. Flowering occurs from August through October. This can be a taller goldenrod and is normally four to six feet tall. It spreads by forming clumps. Wrinkle leaf goldenrod is also widespread in Eastern North America. This is one of the few goldenrods that is actually commonly available as a cultivar. Solidago rugosa fireworks that produces a spectacular flower display and appears to be as attractive to pollinators as the wild type. If you would like to learn more fun facts about goldenrod, check out this video, subscribe to Backyard Ecology, and get out and enjoy nature in your backyard.